PC Wiz Kid here with something new from Cooler Master to show you. It's the Master Air MA410M. That's right, it's an RGB CPU cooler. You might have seen my system review that contained this CPU cooler. If you haven't, I'll add the link right here on the top right. You can click on that now and watch that review of the system and then return back to watch this. Basically, I'm going to be installing this in this beautiful Cooler Master case. Again, if you're interested in seeing details, watch the system review, it's awesome. But really the highlight here is installing this beautiful tower air cooler and then configuring it to your liking. Of course, it would be nice if you have an RGB supported motherboard so that way you can have the addressable RGB option. But if you don't, no worries, this comes with a controller. Uh, it has support for your favorite uh, flavor CPU, whether it's Intel or AMD, those are the sockets that it supports. There's the height. A lot of people have uh, issues with you know, putting these inside of cases, so keep that in mind, the height right there. And four heat pipes, those uh, CDC 2.0, those uh, continuous direct contact technology, 45% more contact surface area, so I'm looking forward to that. And um, with those two RGB fans that it comes with, uh, we'll be able to control those and play around with some effects. Five years warranty on that, by the way, so they really stand behind their product. And uh, here inside the box, I've got everything laid out to install this in my system. Of course, the uh, uh, rear retention bracket, the required screws, the uh, clips, and uh, everything according to the manual because uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the manual, step one, two, three, four, and uh, you'll be all set. And that's exactly what I did. I installed things step by step as it outlined in the diagram. Very easy to follow. Um, took out this little label, of course, and then uh, applied uh, the instructions that it said to remove the two fans because it makes it easier to install. So again, follow the manual and you can't go wrong. You know, the manual tells you, here's step two, take out the fans. So that's what I did. I took out the fans and um, I applied some thermal paste as well on the bottom there on those uh, contacts, as you can see. Very, very thin layer of thermal grease, as you can see, the paste, and then very little thin layer also on the CPU. So that way I make sure 100% that I got the right contact. Then I fastened it onto the board, again, following the instructions, pretty easy and straightforward, and then attached both fans one at a time for that push-pull effect. That's right, push-pull effect. I mean, if you were to disassemble this completely, obviously you'd see the two fans, you'd see the housing there, uh, the armor, as they like to call it, that's really directing and channeling the air in very nicely. There's a tower heat sink with that uh, new design. Basically, it's got a hexagon hologram aluminum fin in the center, which is really cool. I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about in just a second. 28 uh, little LEDs, those addressable RGB LEDs are going through that, just so you know, that can be controlled using the little controller that it comes with. So yes, if you don't have an RGB motherboard, don't worry. Uh, this comes with a little controller that you can hide inside of your case and, and uh, basically uh, it allows you to um, do certain things and control certain things, right, when it comes to uh, how you want the colors and the effects. So that wired RGB controller again has uh, four options on it, on this little, uh, the little clicker, those little buttons. And uh, you can then set that up according to, uh, to the manual and attach it in your system. You know, of course, it has to get power, right? So you attach it into your system appropriately. And, uh, and then you can control uh, the lighting speed, the colors, the lighting mode, and, uh, and so forth. So it's very nice that they added that in there. Now, with the push-pull effect of those two fans, right, sandwiched in there, you're going to be able to get that cool air coming in through one side and then pushing it out through the back, which is what I've got pushing it out through the back, and then I've got another fan at the rear of the case, which is helping get that out of there, the hot air out. In that center, like I told you, it's got that hexagon, hexagon type of uh, layout there to really um, uh, allow lighting to go through, which is really cool, and also the heat to dissipate through there. So that's pretty interesting that they did that. Here it is installed by default. The colors are kind of uh, all 60 million colors kind of going all at the same time, right? Uh, all RGB without touching anything or configuring any colors. Uh, this is how it looks when you first install it. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Look at the LEDs going through there inside. That is pretty neat. Now with the controller, like I said, you can set the colors. You want it to be standard color. Do you want it to be uh, a certain effect with that color? Um, you know, there's different effects to choose from that you can uh, go through and try whichever one you think looks best. It's up to you, of course, and if you have an addressable RGB motherboard, even better, then you can control that through your motherboard 
hardware or software. So when it comes now to CPU temperatures, very nice. Uh, by default, again, without configuring anything, I'm going into to, uh, to the uh, voltages, leaving everything on auto first, and uh, then really setting up my case fans. And uh, all the fans need to be kind of tweaked a little bit, so I tweak them first to make sure that I get the appropriate cooling. And then once I've done that, then here in Windows 10, I've got it on idle, and the idle temperatures are roughly about 32 degrees Celsius on the CPU. So that's very nice for an air CPU cooler uh, to give about 32 degrees Celsius there on the on idle. And then on full load, you can see here, of course, I'd rarely be running every uh, gun on 100%, but if you do, it's reaching 86 degrees Celsius full guns blazing, 100% load. So very well done by Cooler Master. Definitely loved the ability to configure and have effects on the RGB side here. Again, if you haven't seen my system review with the full benchmarks, I'll add the link in just a moment right after this. I'd like to thank Cooler Master for providing it. Comment below, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching. Click right now if you wanna see the full system benchmarks on this RGB system. And again, Thank you for watching.